Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Artie Yoda and this is a little newer of a kind of game. I, I don't know. I've played games like the, not like this, but I've branched off from my usual games before. But this is going to be one of those games um, where I just branch off. I saw... Um, well, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Um, I've been kind of sitting in the menu for a little while, so I don't know what the fuck is going on last night i downloaded this and i accidentally hit new game so the first thing i did was hit uh save game and so now i have this it's it, it's it's a hundred percent like i'm going into this blind i have no idea what's going on you can see here like i'm recording this on the 27th it i did this like way like i was messing with preferences and accidentally hit new game so i saved it immediately and then logged out of it because I didn't plan on recording it then but You're we could just hop right back in into woods. it it's the very first at the end of that line of the game is a cabin and in the basement of that cabin is a princess by the way I didn't know that this was voiced or anything like that and I also didn't know that you can't move like uh, there's there's no like I don't know what that just did oh I took a screenshot whoops um I, there's there's literally like nothing you can do so um, you're here to I guess slay you just her. listen if you don't it will be the end of the world that's a little dramatic uh okay oh we got we got a shit ton of options here okay um what about uh shit can't someone else do this yet, right? Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. What? Okay. Uh, the end of the world, what are you talking, talking about? I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Okay. Uh... If you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going to kill her. Yeah. She's not dangerous. She's just a princess. The danger comes if she gets out. Which she will, unless you do something about it. Why would she... Uh, what? That doesn't make any sense. By the way, I've noticed my cursor is like a velociraptor claw. It literally looks like the claw that they pulled out from fucking Jurassic Park. Like in the original Jurassic Park when they're at the archaeology site. And... I think his name o Owen. He fucking grabs that uh, Velociraptor claw. Um, all right, you know what? Let's just let's just go to. Yeah, Look, I'm sold. As long as you remain focused on your goal, it should all be smooth sailing. Okay, sure. You make your way up the short path to the it's cabin. It's a very small cabin. You'll find the princess within. Okay. Tell me how a basement is supposed to fit in this when there ain't nothing behind it. Like, does it just go straight down? Like, is there a ladder and then it goes this way? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Before you go <coughs> any further. Okay. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Sure. Don't believe a word she says. We're All not right. going to go through with this, right? She's What's a princess. Hero? We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. Okay. He doesn't know what he's talking about. All right. I don't know if I'm going to ignore him. I don't know what I want to do. I haven't got. I, I haven't planned anything out. I. I'd assume that you don't have to. The interior of the cabin is almost slay entirely bare. Slay the princess, bare. but I don't know. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Broken, just say like knife or a dagger. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Point. Dude, this guy's... This guy's talking out his ass. I guess I take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Sure. Into the basement, I guess. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. 
If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Wait, wait, so he sent me to this cabin and he doesn't even know if she's here? Her voice carries up the stairs. Oh, she's definitely here. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Bro, she's the only one down here. Like, Don't what? let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Uh... Just checking oh, in on you. It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. Mm, I don't think you've been forgotten about. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Okay. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Sure. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Don't get horny, Focus bro. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Uh, what? No way. Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah. Caught me. I'm here to slay you. Nah. Nah. -uh. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it? And then we can chat. She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. It's a fair point. Uh, I'll drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Okay. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. Damn. Don't bro. know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Okay. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? Damn. How would you... How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out here who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we've talked enough. Listen. I... I'm not a man... To flirt with royalty but they make racks don't oh whoops I accidentally skipped it don't jump to any weird conclusions we're two people who have met each other by definition we have a relationship okay um, I'm here because you're supposed to end the world don't just tell her that <laughs> is that why they threw me down here but I don't want to hurt anyone I like the world, I think. You think? I don't Damn. remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. It's fair enough, Just I guess. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? They have said that. Um... I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I am inclined to trust them. Uh, I was hoping you'd tell me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. Mm -hmm. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. It's true. At the end of the day, Whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. It's true. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So... 
I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. Okay. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? She's right about one thing. Mm, yeah. Her word isn't worth anything. I like know. I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. Well, I don't know how do I... So do you uh... trust me? The prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world. Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. I'm not sure yet. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. Um... What's your name? She hesitates. You can address me as your royal highness, or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. I would not Again, be doing that. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. How long have you been down here? Too long. Okay. That fucking helps. I'm not gonna ask how I get her out of here. So, okay, we've talked enough. Oh? Have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. The name of the game is to slay the princess. I don't really want to do it though. I'm gonna keep you locked away down here at least for a bit. We can talk, we can get to know each other before, better before. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. I'm getting you out of here, slay the princess. I'm gonna keep you locked away. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Okay, now let's... Let's weigh our options here. Um, the name of the game is Slay the Princess. Okay. The narrator, who seems to know a lot about this land, or he's just straight up fucking capping to me, is telling me to kill her. The hero of the vo or the voice of the hero. I don't know if I like him, but you know, whatever. I'm just gonna slay her. I'm gonna slay her. Charge the princess, blade trembling in your hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why does my hand look like that? I am I a lizard? I, dude, I told you I'm a fucking velociraptor. She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. We shouldn't okay. have hesitated. But nope, she doesn't stop should. there. She kicks you a few times for good measure, the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones, making sure you stay down. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with my hand there, but As I... As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. Oh, she's As George floating me. Air, Damn, okay. With an intense curiosity. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand, and now look at you. I'm, I'm about to get George Floyded. That's crazy. Is this really the best you could do? Look at you. Completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. She applies more pressure, slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Yeah, it's the end. Everything goes dark, and you die. Alright. So, now what? Chapter 2? Wait, 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 wait. There's chapters to this? Okay. You're on a oh. path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Call me crazy, but that was the first line of the game, right? You're here to slay her. That's the if second line of the game. It will be the end of the world. What? 
Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so if I tell him that this has already happened, what will happen? Is there a way I can maybe... Uh, but what if I just proceed to the cabin? I'm just going to proceed to the cabin. I'm oh, not going to... Before you go any further. I'm not going to indulge and tell him I know what's going on. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to yeah, stop you from staying. this has already been we said. as well just pledge ourselves to her. Voice of the And broken. stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. What's that Can we turn mean? down the pessimism just a smidge? I'm For not real. being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. You're being annoying. Just ignore their bickering, and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. Yeah, what does that mean? I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her, but if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. Rescue her? Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. Either would be terrible. So what does that even mean? Try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world. Let's not make this harder than it has to be. Proceed if to the that's cabin. what you want, I guess I don't have a say here. This man's this man is truly broken. He needs to get in the gym, bro. For real. The interior of the cabin Whoa. is larger and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive this is marble way altar different. with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Call me crazy, but that's not the only thing in this room. There's a giant dungeon door and a mirror. I think that's a mirror, unless it's just like a tinted window. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? Yeah, why is why do we I feel, feel so small? small? We are small. What? The fuck does that even mean? You say anything That's about the mirror? That's because there isn't a mirror. There's what? the altar, the blade sitting I, on the altar. That's and a the mirror. Door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Who cares if there's a mirror? We're all going to die. Damn, anyway. bro. And I'm sure that if we looked in there, we'd just see something sad and miserable looking back at us. We don't need any reminders of what we are. It would only make things worse. Who broke this man? <sighs> for the last time, you're not going to die unless you let it happen. And luckily for you, there isn't a mirror. So no one needs to worry about confronting a grisly visage any time in the near future. Though, for what it's worth, if there were a mirror, I'm sure that you wouldn't find anything sad or miserable in it looking back at you. You probably look perfectly normal. Mm. Probably. Do you not know what we look like? He knows. He just doesn't have the heart to tell us. Damn. Who broke this man? I know myself, I want to see how handsome I am. I care about whether I'm being lied to, and there's a mirror. Yeah, there's a mirror. As do I. And yeah. There is. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. Alright, I'm gonna approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Yeah, for real. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand what? against the cabin wall. Where'd it go? I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. We should count ourselves lucky. Some things are better left Bruh. unseen. Alright, I guess I'm taking the blade you take now. the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Let's go into the basement. This art style is sick, by the way. I really want to The door to the that. basement creaks open, revealing a Not spiral preface, staircase. I want to... It steps almost as deep as you are tall. You know what I'm saying. The I want to incense drifts up. Put that below. out there. It's a really cool for a moment, looking game. You almost feel at ease. Okay. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. It's still a stone basement. 
If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her booming okay. voice rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Whoa. Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. What happened to her? You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. Oh no! We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless it's everything true. was. Now you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Continue downstairs. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. This music is the sick, princess Oh my god! You, almost glowing in the weak starlight. Is she a fucking goddess now? framed by a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. Yeah, right? The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. You brought that knife again, even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. Wait, I just thought about this. You didn't have to take the knife. Okay, so if there's more chapters, I don't think I'm going to take the knife on the next one. Because I want to see what happens. Drop it. Yes, ma'am. The blade slips from your fingers and clatters uselessly to the floor. We didn't have to do that. And yet you did. She's so much more than us. What? You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Neil. No. But the words don't leave your mouth. Instead, oh. your legs buckle, and your knees hit the floor. Never mind. That's my good little bird. No. Why don't we talk? Sure. The last time we met, you told me I was destined to end the world. That thought wrapped itself around my heart. It has pulled at me since the moment I squeezed uh -oh. the life out of your broken lungs. Uh-oh. I could feel its fundamental truth awaken me. Uh-oh. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for... alterations. I don't know it's about that. It's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. How am I going to do that? Well, that gives away the game, doesn't it? It does. But why did she say the last time we met? That's not right. That can't be right. She's right. We've been here before. We have. We've died here before. Pitifully. We might as well do what she asks of us and help her. She is inevitable. Can't you feel it? I He's being can. melodramatic, but the point stands. What are we even supposed to do to stop her? Yeah. Oh, be damned. That's not good. No, it's not. <sighs> okay. First things first, you're going to have to stuff those pessimistic thoughts someplace far, far away and commit yourself to what needs to be done. The stakes of the situation should be perfectly clear to everyone now. And if you're going to save the world, you have to have faith that you can pull this off. You can't win a battle that you've already lost in your mind. That's true. That's some good ass life advice, bro. That that's the realest shit this narrator will ever say. What would you have me do? What do you have planned? Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. I have questions for you before I decide to do anything. What happened to you after I died? I'm not going to help you end the world. I don't care if something new comes after. I just can't let you do that. I'm yours to command. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you you actually have to do it. You can be whoever you, whatever you want. This isn't about desire. This is about what I am. And I have little interest in discussing destiny with one that cannot see the divine truth that shines in my heart. 
don't know what that means, but let's go with it, I guess. Uh, what would you have me do? And all you have to do is break these chains and set me free. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. If you're so powerful, can't you just break him yourself? Don't be rude. Of course she can. It's not rude to question someone who's apparently trying to end the world. Yeah, right. That's exactly why it's rude. We should know our place. I can. Easily. But that isn't what I want to do. What? The story of a terrible and bountiful god unbounded of her own will is no story at all. It's not worthy of everything I am or everything I'm bound to become. It isn't even worthy of what I was. What does that mean? The destruction oh. and genesis that's to follow in my wake is deserving of a song that can echo for eternity. Sure. The I can song of she's you about to kill me. Being so struck by my glory, so overwhelmed by what I am, that you feel you must deliver me into the world. I don't feel that, but and from sure, your yes. act of utter devotion and submission springs a new dawn. A better dawn. She don't know about that. Submit now. Submit later. It makes no difference. Because in the end, no matter how vainly you struggle against me, my will triumphs over yours. How do you know that? I'm not gonna help you end the world. I don't care if something new comes after it. I just can't let you do that. What happened to you after I died? I have questions for you before I decide to do anything. I'm not gonna help you end the world. I say, perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. Pick up that needle. Do it. It's what she wants. No objections here. Yeah. I don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know don't what like she's it. planning, but we might as well pick up the blade. As your eye falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses, but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. Hmm. Oh, well, I can't do anything else but pick up the blade, so... You reach forward and grasp the blade. Stand! This one's easy. See? This isn't so bad. I gotta fucking sit up. Ugh. Okay. Okay, yeah. We can do that. We were probably gonna stand anyway. I don't know. I was thinking about sitting down, personally. Stand, I guess. You feel a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, like two foes was I not forced into an standing unhappy before? truce. The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out the long, painful seconds. But all silences are broken eventually. Uh oh. To defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet, Shadow. While I am brilliant radiance. Take that, that knife mean? in your hand and slit your uh, throat. Okay. What? You don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. The broken ones here talk about how we should just do it. Oh, never mind. What? Oh, we'll end this all right. What? Your hand no. lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. End her. Yeah, that's... Oh, no, nah, I can't do anything? Come on. All right, no, I guess I get to kill myself. just slay yourself. You're perfectly healthy and capable. I don't know. Uh, All you have to do hold on. is ignore her. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. To be I'm sorry. I, I'm not just going to unalive myself. The blade and the hand that wields it... Remain firmly locked in place until you change your mind and decide to do literally anything else. Look at you quaking against my will. An ant defying a god. I still can't get over how I'm literally a lizard. 
It's pointless to resist. In the end, everything submits to oblivion. But you're not the one resisting me, are you? There's something else in there. No, I'm the one resisting you. Is that a person? No, it used to be a person. It's something different now. How does she know? An echo. Is... is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me, she... You're a small one, Whoa. aren't you? A shriveling Dude, I'm in the gym every day. Come on, I ain't small. Limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what Whoa. you are. You're mine. Oh. Oh, shit. Is bro... Is she, like, force choking her? She... Is she Darth Vader? You oh. bring the blade to okay. your neck. You, you slice, slice through, through soft flesh, flesh severing veins, veins and arteries. This is graphic. Your blood flowing freely down I don't even know body. if I can show this on YouTube. I it's honestly don't. But we're gonna obedience. take the risk. But the pain will last forever. Actually, I think this is probably something that you can't. I don't no, know. No, 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 no. When I see you again, you'll free me from my chains and deliver me to the destiny that lies beyond this place. We will. I promise. I know you will. Oh, okay. Everything goes dark, and you die. Why is the narrator the apotheses? I think that I'm the apoth- yeah, apotheses. You're on a path. Whoa. Moves. At the end of that path. Oh, let me guess. At the end of that path is a cabin. Yeah. Excuse me? This is the third time we've been here, and this is hardly Where's a path the in the woods. It's all big and weird. Another witness to Bro, is Herobrine in our game? Why the fuck all the leaves missing? Soon upon us. I'm here to keep him in check. I'm sick of prying fingers digging around in our head, and he's making it all too easy for them to get in. This is bad. I have a feeling that if I had killed her on the first time, that we would still be here no matter what. Oh, is it now? I hadn't noticed. Do you need a primer, Mr. Amnesiac? No, I'm quite all right, but if all of you would take a moment to settle down, there's something important I'd like to get across to you before it's too late. Is it about the princess? We already know all about the princess. Yeah. Not to be trusted, that one. No, I, I mean, yes, it's about the princess, but whatever you think, you're not to be trusted either. Look, it's stop, true. just out with it already, yeah? But if I hear the words, you're here to slay her, or if you don't, it will be the end of the world, you'll have lost speaking privileges. <laughs> you two are just wasting your time. Oh it's my god. It's all going to end when we open the Bro, this guy door, needs to shut means, the fuck up. It's already all over. What's the point of dawdling when the end is already written? Okay, that nonsense he's going on about, that's what we need to talk about. You've been here before, obviously. So yeah. you have met us. Because boy, were you in denial about that last time. No, I haven't met you, but reality is clearly falling apart at the moment, and the only reason that would happen is if you knew things you weren't supposed to know. What? What, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, for real. He's talking about those weird marble trees and how wrong everything looks. Those trees are marble? Okay, so first of all, they made out of marble and hero brands in our game. We've established that, so yeah, that's kind of... Exactly. Whatever you did before gave her far too much power. So you've got to cut it out, get to that cabin, and slay her before things get any more out of hand. We've built yeah. a new god, and she yeah, that's, is Yeah, that's true. What are our thoughts doing that? <gasps> make her small, make her small, make her small, make her small. Sh shit, what if I'm doing it wrong? What if I'm making her even stronger? Do you hear those two, with their runaway thoughts? I'm only giving you the sliver of information I'm giving you now because things are already deep in the shitter. This was my last card to play, and it looks like it's already made things worse. So hurry, cabin, now. Yeah, fair. Okay, so... Okay, now hold on. I have so many questions. I'm not going into that cabin until we have answers. What am I? Head of the but cabin. A great and horrible change is already underway. Uh oh The ground quakes beneath your feet, and you feel unyielding oh. force pulling at you and your surroundings. 
the trees start to sway, then crumble, breaking apart as everything is drawn towards the cabin. Uh-oh. Even the earth beneath you seems to shift, your feet unable to grip solid ground as you're dragged forward along with everything else. The end oh, nice. of everything. The beginning of something new. The moment we open that door, she will be free. Stop yeah. believing everything you hear. We just have to get our thoughts in order. We just have to think straight. Any, it's true. Uh, words of warning? You already know everything you need to know. Proceeding in the cabin. As you step forward. Oh, the shit. The cabin explodes. Nice. You're flung backwards. Oh. Violently slamming into a tree as debris rains down around you. Nice. So I'm just dead. Oh. Yeah, she is uh, very large you now. In paralyzed awe and terror God as the princess bright. emerges, her body unfurling from some vast space as she stands upright. Well, she got tentacles around her. Is she kinky like the that? The world bows to her. The ruined landscape shifts, trees and stone and the ground itself she's succumbing just a black to her hole. gravity. Yeah, she's her like a great She's black hole. literally a black hole. Everything is succumbing to her like gravity. That is literally what a black hole is. Finally, the little oh. bird has set me free. This is always how it was going to end. And this is always how it was going to begin. Okay. Oh. There's a loud thunk from the tree behind you as something embeds in its shattered bark. Your pristine blade. It's now or never. I'm just gonna die again, but yeah. take the blade. Screw all of this. I'm with you. A real god wouldn't need us as part of her plan. You'll never make it to her. And even if you do, what could you possibly hope to accomplish? I don't know. We'll do what I apparently have infinite to. lives, so we'll take this blade and we'll sink it into her heart. Look at the way everything's being flung around her. If we just throw ourselves in her direction, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Yeah, Maybe for real. None of this is real. Maybe we can do whatever we want to do. With a forceful tug, you yank the blade out from the tree. You close your eyes. Let's do it. And take a deep breath. And for a moment, you can feel everything around you. Like you're a part of everything. And everything is a part of you. Dude, this is hype as shit. And then your eyes open, settling on your target. It's time. Slayer. You launch yourself towards the princess. You can feel her gravity envelop you, carrying you from the ground into the violent swirl of her orbit. Even now you defy me. Do it then. Show me what you think it takes to end what's destined to end everything. Let's do it. Do it. Show her. Show her. End it. Why do I feel so cold? Oh yeah. Die. That's right. That's right. That's fucking right. I fucking did that shit. What? You not get the chance to slay her. Something has taken her away and it's left something. It's the mirror. The fuck? Oh. No. Where did she go? Witness your better's ascension. What does She's that even mean? Gone. Is this the end of the world? Did she end herself? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Uh, I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. The narrator's Wait, gone. Does that mean the world ended? It's a great yeah. question. No voice needling us anymore. Feels good, but I also feel itchy. Cold. Okay, after this chapter, I will end this episode and see what happens Figures next. the world would end and leave us with all this nothing. I don't know where she went, and I don't know we how we'd even go about looking for it. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Yeah, I There's think I'm supposed to look at the dreadful mirror. About it. I, I don't think you should. I think I should. Us. I'm not in a good way. I, I think I should. Look at us. I want to see it. I'm, I'm, I'm approaching it. Don't. Explore it's it. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Sounds as you reach forward, they're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's just me. It's it's me. It's you. Yeah. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. 
Proceed to the cab. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Why is her head the cabin? Nope. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. She Medusa, but instead of snakes, it's just hands. What the fuck is this? What are you? The gift of fragile vessel. Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. Do you know the narrator? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens now? Attack the entity, destroy your body. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Uh, solitary lights, what do you mean? What do you think I am? I don't know what I am. What do you think I am? I'm definitely I think not a person, that you so. Are like me. I think that you are like me. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. I was not expecting this to be so goddamn real, dude. I thought this was gonna be a weird little story game. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? That's a fair point, actually. Um, the gift of fragile v vessel. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is dominance. A figure capable of bending everything to her will. She will make for a terrifying and divine heart. Do not mourn her, for she would not be able to mourn you. I don't know what that means. Uh, are you what sent me here to slay the princess? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Okay. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Wow, okay. Uh... Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The okay. space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Okay. Uh... Are you the princess? She is part of me. And part of me is her. Yeah, that doesn't help me. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? A little bit, yeah. Let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Return to you? What does that even mean? I promise that it doesn't hurt. Okay. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope, as I witness you. She call me depressed, bro? What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. So I don't know what that means. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Oh my god, there's so many more options. Uh, aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? Oh. Oh, I have to find pieces of her. And what if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? Okay, make me forget. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Damn, that's real. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Just tell me, like, five or six more. It ain't that hard, bitch. 
What do I... What if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Okay. I was sent to say the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape. To remold. Damn. Actually, kind of hit deep. I can't even lie. Being semantic, what are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. I'm not going back. Okay, make me forget. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You it's won't. not gonna happen. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh! Everything goes dark and you die. Okay, so if a new chapter starts, I will end the video here. Okay. Oh, chapter one. Nice. You're on a path in the You're Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to restart. I'm, I'm gonna save this. And if uh and I will get back to recording the new the the next part to this. I don't know when I will get around to it. But, um, I really, really, really want to do this. This video is like 100% uncut. I don't like doing edited videos like this because I like to see, I like to do raw footage for it because it's just more fun. So, um, so yeah, I won't do any more cuts unless I have to. Um, like if there's such a boring part that I literally have to cut it out. Um, but I don't think there will because it's a story game. And you kind of have to understand everything. So if that happens, I will. But I probably won't. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want a part two, let me know in any way, shape, or form. Whether that's liking, commenting, whatever. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to. I understand I'm a shitty YouTuber. So um, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, you know, hit the like button. At least let me know you want to see more content like this. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later.